This is Kimberly Morgan West with SportRivalry.com here today to talk about the rivalry between South Carolina versus Clemson. Let's join Sport Rivalry Man through a journey of this exciting rivalry. The Carolina Clemson rivalry is the second longest continuous rivalry in college football. Both institutions are public universities supported by the state of South Carolina and their campuses are separated by only 132 miles. The two schools have been bitter rivals since the 1880s and their heated feud continues to this day over their respective charters and passions surrounding their athletic programs. The game between these two schools is usually held in late November during Thanksgiving weekend, and in 2014 was officially dubbed the Palmetto Bowl since the state of South Carolina is known as the Palmetto State. The teams first played on November 12, 1896, with a South Carolina win at 12-6. The two teams have met for a total of 114 times, with Clemson leading this series 68-42 with four ties. These schools have had a number of incidences that have influenced this rivalry. In 1961, the USC fraternity Sigma Nu pulled what some have called the greatest prank in the rivalry's history. A few minutes before Clemson football players entered the field for the pregame warmups, a group of South Carolina fraternity members ran onto the field dressed in uniforms that resembled the Tigers, causing the Clemson band to play the school song. The pranksters did football drills where the guys would drop passes and miss the ball when trying to kick it. Quickly realizing they had been tricked, some of the Clemson fans ran into the field, but security was able to restore order before any blows could be exchanged. On November 19, 1977, Clemson wide receiver Jerry Butler made a diving backwards 20-yard touchdown reception on a pass from quarterback Steve Fuller with 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. This gave Clemson a 31-27 victory in Columbia. This play is known as the catch and is one of the most memorable plays in the rivalry and the most famous play in Clemson football history. In 2000, trailing late in the game 14-13, Clemson quarterback Woody Danzler connected with the wide receiver Rock Gardner for a 50-yard reception to Carolina's 8-yard line with 10 seconds remaining. Carolina fans argue that Gardner pushed off the Carolina defender, but Clemson fans contend that the contact was incidental. No penalty flag was thrown on the play, leaving Clemson to kick a 2-yard field goal that gave Clemson a 16-14 win. Clemson fans remember this game as the catch two, while Carolina fans, on the other hand, call it the push-off game. The South Carolina Clemson Brawl of 2004 is the most recent eruption of hostilities in this rivalry. With about six minutes remaining in the game, the Carolina quarterback was hit and a Clemson player laid on him a little too long, preventing him from getting up. This led to players on the field shoving and punching, which then led to both benches clearing and fighting on the field. Law enforcement had to be used in order to cease the chaos, and Clemson won the game 29 to seven. Winning six games that year, both schools were bowl eligible but elected to forfeit their postseason due to the unsportsmanlike nature of the fight. The USC Clemson rivalry is exciting and one to keep your eyes on for years to come. In today's lesson, we will focus on the definition of in-group bias. In-group bias is defined as displaying preference toward members of a selected in-group this bias was noticeable through the interpretation of the catch from Clemson fans versus the push-off from South Carolina fans. For SportRivalry.com, this is Kimberly Morgan West.
signing off.